A new study says tanning beds may be more dangerous than previously thought. Yeah, doctors say that the UV lights in tanning beds may actually alter a cell's DNA, making them more likely to develop melanoma. Here's Dr. Maria Simbra now with what you need to know. When she was in high school and college, Jessica Rogowitz used tanning beds. Skin cancer wasn't even a consideration. And that's the furthest thing from your mind. I guess I always thought, you know, bad things like that wouldn't happen to me. That happens to other people, people you see on the news. Then she had a mole removed. And I was honestly having it removed for cosmetic reasons, never thinking that it would be melanoma. I was surprised because you never think you're going to be the one to be diagnosed with cancer when you're, you know, three days away from turning 25 years old. A lot of patients say, um, why, why did I get this problem, uh, this cancer, and uh, um, what caused it? Cancer comes from an interaction between genetics and the environment. Radiation is certainly one of the major known causes. As in ultraviolet radiation from the sun or tanning beds. It damages the DNA in skin cells. Damaged DNA is called a mutation. Mutations lead to cancer. Jessica's case points to what a recent study shows. Indoor tanning is linked to melanoma earlier in life. I didn't realize how badly I was damaging my skin. Researchers compared people with melanoma, 100 who used tanning beds, and 200 who didn't. They took into account gender, skin and eye color, family history, and sun exposure. In the tanning bed group, melanoma developed a decade earlier. The researchers found mutations more frequently in the tanning bed group, especially on the parts of the body exposed to the sun. So forget the salon to get a base tan. It only adds to the total ultraviolet damage to the skin. I felt like I learned my lesson. I, I learned that tanning beds are not safe. I felt like I was the only person in the world who ever had cancer, especially at 25 years old. To raise awareness, Jessica organizes a 5K race every year with the Pittsburgh Melanoma Foundation. Skin cancer is not just skin cancer. It's not just a little more removal. That it, It's much more serious than what most people seem to think it is. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.